Welcome to Wix Insider Tips. In this video we're going to go over some common mistakes as well as some things that are generally good to know when working with Wix. So the most common mistake we get asked is why is my content showing up on all of my pages? And that's because we've used a mini page like this. As you can see the quote is showing up on all the pages. It simply means we didn't place the content correctly on the mini pages. So go ahead and grab that content and drag it around until you see these four yellow triangles on the mini page. Once we let that go, we'll be assured that it is stuck to the first page as we like. Great. Another common mistake is that our users will put content on their page, and when they go to view their live site, they don't see it. It's missing. That's because the content was placed outside the borders of your page. So if I go ahead and move this photo, you can see that in the editor we have a border here for your page. You must place everything inside those borders. If anything is outside of that page borderline, even partially, it's not going to show up on your live site. Great. Another mistake that we hear commonly is a user will go to view their live site and only see the first page of their site. And that's because we forgot to go here to page parts and add menus or buttons. So you must add navigation to connect all your pages. If you have any questions about that, we do have another video tutorial on that subject. One reason why you may want to do that is if you're working on your page behind the scenes and you want to put up a construction, under construction page. So as your first page, write something that says under construction and don't add any menus or buttons. This way your users will only be able to see that your page is under construction and not anything that you're currently working on. A great tip and very useful in the Wix editor is to go here to help and keyboard shortcuts. We have all kinds of keyboard shortcuts from copy paste to select an item hidden behind another item, alt and select. So that's very good to know when working in the editor. Um, another great thing is our undo button here, this little arrow that goes backwards. is a simple fix. Anything that you accidentally delete or something like that, go ahead and undo that. Another common mistake is uh, has to do with layering and buttons. People come to us and say, my button isn't working, I did everything right. What's the deal? Well, there's usually two reasons behind that. The first is that it's under something else. So if I click this contact button here, we can see it's underneath of our slider. Now, all we need to do is press Alt, select that button. We can go here to Arrange and bring that to the front. Or once selected, we can use these blue arrows as well. Uh, the other reason is that too many behaviors or effects are tagged to that one button. Let's keep it simple and make sure that it works. Uh, another common mistake is copying a button. So if we go ahead and edit and copy paste that button, we're going to have to go in and re-add the behaviors, make sure that's all right. Uh, a great thing also to know is if I want to recreate a page, I like how the things are placed on this page, I can go ahead and group everything to copy and paste that. Just hold down your control key and select all the content click this box here and that will group everything makes it really simple to copy and paste that. Another common problem we have is always connected to the contact form. So when you go ahead and add a contact form widget into your site, don't forget to include your email. So you must go here to the menu, press send to email and type or copy paste your email in here. I like to paste it in because any little typo in your email will render it useless and it won't work as well. So be very careful with that and always go in ahead and save your changes. Great, the last thing I'm going to show you today is a m hidden music player. Sometimes our users come to us and say, I hear phantom music, but I can't find it. Well, there's usually two tricks I use. The first is to zoom out, and here we can see our music player is over here. Press delete on my keyboard to find that. Another great way is to just move around the things on your page, the contents, and go ahead and select some squares with your mouse and here we go looks like we found something here if we go to settings and move up the transparency that is indeed a music player I'll just go ahead and delete that and we're all set thanks for listening